Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today we are working on, going to take five minutes to uh, replace some capacitors on this Ampex uh, VR5700. You guys know I'm doing the restoration of this machine, which is a real pain in the ass because you got to recap the whole unit. you got to put brand new capacitors on it. Well, here's part of the capacitors I did get in on my parts order. This is power supply two for this unit. There's two parts to the power supply. One runs the motors, the other one runs the other features on all the other cards. This is part two. Again, guys, I told you on these capacitors, they're all dried out, dead as a doornail. These things are leaking like a sieve. This one, this one, even this can one. Disaster, folks. Uh, I did order capacitors, and like I said, I use a place called Ted's uh, Parts Online. He has an unbelievable array of capacitors and sizes and different shapes, various different things. This worked out great. As you can see, we got the right capacitors. This is a, this is a 2000 microfarad by uh, 25 volt. This is a dead on correct size. This one's a little smaller, but it's a dead on correct size to fit the side. So basically what you need is you need solder and you need what's called desoldering braid. This is how I do it. Since I don't have uh, I don't have my soldering gun hooked up to be able to do this on camera. Basically what you do is you heat up your soldering gun, you let the soldering, uh, the desoldering braid, you put the tip of the soldering gun onto the soldering braid, onto the spot you want to remove solder, and it sucks up the solder right off that spot and makes that area clean so you can pull the component out. It's very simple to do, it is not rocket science, but I recommend NTE uh, desoldering braid, this stuff is the best. I use it all the time. This is how you remove solder on points when you want to remove capacitors. You take desoldering braid to the point with your, your heating soldering iron. It sucks it off the uh, contact. And then you got the wire sitting there and you're able to pull it straight out and replace the component. But anyways, desoldering braid you need, solder, uh, good solder. I use a very fine solder, a good soldering gun. But when you're recapping a piece of electronics, you got to find the correct caps. Uh, I've been buying them slowly to get all the ones I'm going to need for this thing. I need to be able to pull the boards out to uh, write, write down which ones we're going to need. It's not a whole heck of a lot of them. These three boards here only have maybe about 25 caps. It's not that big of a deal to change these out, but it's just time consuming. So we're going to recap this entire machine with brand new capacitors. Like I said, I did get some of them in. I did have some on hand. Here you go, they're on hand. They will actually be able to do this. So anyways, guys, that's how you do it. You use desoldering braid, heat it up, put your soldering tip of your solder gun on the braid itself. It'll heat the solder up on the point you're trying to remove, and you'll be able to suck the solder right off and take the components right out. And then you put the new ones in and solder those points, clip the wires. Very, very simple to do. It's not hard to do. I do this all the time, but like I said, guys, these capacitors on this machine are a disaster, literally. I mean, they're all punched out on the sides, leaky. This one right here is leaking on the board. It's all due to age. I mean, when they get real old, and this, this machine is obviously from 1967, you have to put brand new capacitors on it. Most people who have a running machine like this, if they do, they would never go through this trouble. The video won't look that great. That was to say, that's the best that can be done. You're wrong. It's not the best that can be done. If you do what I do, then you can sit there and say it's the best video you're going to get out of those videotapes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.